with the very notable exception of It. The last noteworthy movie to be released was The Hitman's Bodyguard back on August 18th, about a month ago. For a month, there has been only one major noteworthy movie. In the erstwhile, I've been reviewing older movies like The Big Sick and Logan Lucky. And while this isn't an older movie, it is a movie that I've never seen a single trailer for. I cannot think of a major release to come out that I didn't end up watching a trailer for. You see a lot of those things being a critic. Yet this movie being released in over 3,000 theaters flew completely under my radar. I saw way more promotion for Logan Lucky than this film. You might ask yourself, why didn't you bring this up during your reviews of Logan Lucky and The Big Sick? It's because those movies were actually worth talking about. American Assassin, though not a terrible movie, certainly isn't good. It starts out with two young lovers on the beach, Dylan O'Brien and Charlotte Vega, who are soon to be engaged. And since this is the beginning of an action movie, we know these two can look forward to a long, happy life together. Honestly, this moment feels so cliche, the girl might as well be wearing a bullseye on her bathing suit. This, of course, sets O'Brien's character, Mitch Rapp, on a mission of revenge. He goes rogue. He does the job no one else is willing to do. He gets his hands dirty. And every other cliche you can use to describe this type of character applies as well. Eventually, he is captured by the CIA, who recruit him and place him under the tutelage of the tough-as-nails gruff Stan Hurley, Michael Keaton. He's a man who knows the dark side and won't put up with some kid who won't obey orders. In all honesty, Keen's performance is by far the best part of the movie. I just realized describing him in this review how cliche he is too. There's an old student of Hurley's, Taylor Kitsch, who went rogue, and Hurley's new student, Rap, will have to take him down, giving the movie cliche number 47. Collect them all. There's an interesting character named Annika, who trains under Hurley with Rap, and seems to have quite an interesting story behind her, but the movie seems all too eager to drop anything interesting she can contribute. There's there's also a storyline where Rap has to let go of his revenge and focus on his mission. Does he overcome this obstacle? The movie doesn't say, but I would guess no. Oh my god, writing is so hard. Quite frankly, I'm bashing this movie way harder than I should be. It's not completely terrible, and it certainly isn't 10 worst movies of the year material. It's just, oh, what's the word I used a lot here? Oh yeah, cliche. Hey, if you like this video, please make sure to hit that like button and go ahead and subscribe. That helps me out a lot. And if you really love this video, consider visiting my Patreon page.